How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here, and I've got to talk to you about Intel's Outer Lake, plus this new Z90 chipset that's about to be released. I've got to say, it's about to get real in here. Intel is doing everything they can to take back the processor crown away from AMD. And will Intel be successful about it? Wait till you hear these details. With all these allegedly leaked files from Intel, I think they're doing everything they can to take back PC Master Race, trying to get the PC community back under their hands. Will Intel be successful doing so? I'll let you fam bam decide for yourselves because wait till you hear what I'm about to tell you. So Intel has been aware and have acknowledged AMD to be a much more serious competitor. Hence why we get bombarded with all this leaked information. Such as crazy details as PCI Express 5.0, and then you got DDR5 coming. So what we do know so far about Intel's Outer Lake, they will be using Socket 1700 for their Z690 chipset motherboards. And how it's going to be readily available very soon. And make sure you stick around to hear exactly when it will be. It's just Intel wants to let everybody know that they'll be able to double that 16 transfers per second. They'll go to 32 transfers per second, which their new Z690 motherboards could fit up to 32 IO ports. That's right. You heard right. 32. I just got to show you fan bam because this will be the first look that I want to share with you guys about the new Z690 chipset. I'll make sure to leave the source link down below in the description box if you want to take a look at it more deeply. So Intel's Outer Lake has a choice between 1x16 PCI Express 5.0 or 2x8 lanes PCI Express 4.0. So it will be up to the manufacturer to decide exactly what type of style they will use with the Z690 chipset. So if you're interested or waiting for these boards, make sure you look over the specifications very carefully. And another thing is some of these motherboards could very well offer both. Some may offer DDR4 and DDR5 compatibility. More than likely with the PCI Express 5.0, you're either gonna have a choice between one or the other. Intel will also feature 12 lanes of PCI Express 4.0. And there were also 16 lanes of PCI Express 3.0. And from the looks of it, it'll be working together because you notice there is no or in it. But of course, I could be wrong. Make sure you put it down in the comments below what you think about what can possibly happen. The only bad part is it looks like NVMe SSDs will remain PCI Express 4.0. Since PCI Express 5.0 will be more of GPU usage. It will also feature up to four 3.2 by four ports. It will also feature four USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, up to 10 by two 3.2 ports. What else is most notable is you get eight lanes from DMI 4.0, which renders everything to PCI Express 4.0. And you have an option between DDR5 and DDR4, where you got two DIMMs per channel up to 4,800 megahertz by 3,200 megahertz. I just wanted to go over Alder Lake and Z690 chipsets plan so far. And if you're interested in looking at it more, make sure you just pause this video. So now you may want to learn or know a little bit more about DDR5 and the compatibility it has with Z690. Why it has a particular backslash as if there was a particular choice to be made for memory. And there is. Again, it'll be up to the motherboard manufacturers such as Gigabyte, MSI, ASUS, see exactly what they will be thinking or what they will stir up on this upcoming motherboard. You'll probably have a mix of some Z690 boards where it's only DDR4. You may have some that, that will actually be only DDR5, and you may have some that may be a hybrid. It may be very possible if they come out with the current generation of PCI Express 4.0 and DDR4, if they come out with a Z690 chipset motherboard for it, it could be much more affordable and within budget. But of course, if you're looking to future proof it and you want DDR5 or you want PCI Express 5.0, you may have to spend a little extra more. And that's just the way it goes, especially when it comes to technology. So some information about Z690 when it comes to usage of memory and to the processor, it'll be kind of just like what Intel Rocket Lake did. 
and that was to put it into gear two, which will continuously hold high data rates and is even rumored to go up to gear four. So if you go, the higher gear you go, the higher latency you will experience. More than likely DDR4 may be automatically set on gear one for low latency and high data rates. And there's much more. Wait till you hear this. This is something that is currently in the rumor mill and please take it with a grain of salt because until it comes into fruition, we truly will not know. So soon after, Intel realized that AMD started bundling coolers with their CPUs. It is rumored that Intel may be bundling coolers for their CPUs. So Intel said, if AMD can make stock coolers, so can we. To me, in my opinion, I think it's pretty hilarious that this stock cooler has a blue LED to it. Assuming that this LED could very well be possibly RGB, just like the AMD Prism Wrath. It's pretty obvious that Intel wants to say that if they do anything, we can do it much better. And of course, that is something that remains to be seen. The only beef and issue I do have with these new boards is that is PCI Express 5.0 really necessary? Yes, I get it. It's good to have your future proofing your PC. What I do want to mention is that if you do not notice, current GPUs cannot fully take advantage of PCI Express 4.0 let alone PCI Express 5.0. Take a look at these benchmarks between PCI Express 3.0 and PCI Express 4.0. As you can see, these are benchmarks from techspot.com, and you can see that there is a slight difference depending on the type of resolution you play in. Depending on the title of the game that you do enjoy, there may be a very, very subtle difference, especially if you're playing at a higher resolution. Certain games, as you will see upcoming, such as Horizon Zero Dawn is very PCI Express sensitive. So it all depends on the title. And I can't imagine PCI Express 5.0 being fully utilized. Also, I gotta talk to you about ExpressVPN. It is super important to keep your privacy safe. You don't want anybody finding out all your bank information or anyone spying on you. So make sure to get something like ExpressVPN. If you go down in the description box down below, exclusively for the fam -in, you get three months free to try it out. I wanna to talk to you more about Outer Lake's planned release date, and more than likely, it's gonna be looking like it's gonna be November of 2021. So we have leaked prices of Gigabyte Z90. It seems to be priced a little bit high. Z690's Aorus Master with four lanes of DDR4, six ports of SATA, three M2 drives with USB 3.2 Gen 2 and Wi-Fi AC for $573.43 USD. While Z690's Aorus Elite, which we kind of have pretty vague details about, but is priced much lower at $327.25 USD. As you can see, ASUS's ROG Strix motherboard, packed with Outer Lake, has been predicted to start releasing of November 19th of 2021, which should mark it as a pretty interesting revolution if Outer Lake proves successful. But all of these dates are rumored and only time will tell. I hope you found this content very useful if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody that enjoys content just like this, make sure to share it with them. And if you're not part of the fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more if you love PC and tech stuff. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here as it is the same as my IG and TikTok as well. Fan bam, guys, what do you think so far about Intel's Outer Lake and Z690's chipset? Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo, signing out.